So today our topic is how to make protocol. Okay. How to make protocol? Any easy? Okay. We have different methods, but I will teach you my easy method. Basic how to make protocol. Okay. So basically, whenever a patient comes to a clinic, he will say some complaints. So our electrophonopathy specialty is please don't ask any complaints. Okay. Till uh, till you mastered in a pulse diagnosis or else impairment, till then. Uh, before that, you have to ask questions, some questions. What are the questions? In basic uh, things, what are the questions you have to ask? First is, what happening to you? And what type of complaints you do? Complaints means what he feels when disease enters and what type of changes she noticed or he noticed after entering of the disease. Okay. These are the complaints and signs. Sign and symptoms also we can say. Symptoms will uh, symptoms or signs will be noticed by doctor itself, but complaints it will be uh tell by the patients. Okay, so first step is to ask the complaints. In complaint asking, you have to ask the main chief complaint. You have the complaints, complaints mean uh, he have hand pain, neck pain, finger pains, okay, and uh, numbness okay and uh, stiffness so all these are complaints but in that what is the chief main complaint where he started first so first is she has started neck pain which pain the pains which radiates throughout the shoulder and hand this is the main chief complaint with that you have to add up other complaints like numbness stiffness Unable to lift the hand, unable to pick the uh, things, unable to write. These are the other complaints. Because of that problem, you have all that problem stiffness, numbness, unable to uh, lift the hand, unable to pick the pen, unable to write. All these are other complaints which are attached to the chief complaint. Okay, first you have to ask the chief complaints and complaints. You have to write down all the complaints. Please write down everything. Okay, first. First step is second step is you have to ask from way when you have the problem. When was the first symptoms, first complaint you saw? First complaint you saw. Okay. You have to ask the day. He will he or she will tell from last one month first i started neck pain then the pain gradually after 10 days the pain radiates to the hand after 10 days started numbness after one to two days started a stiffness after five days the i am unable to lift the hand gradually i, I started i started the weakness in my right hand okay this is this uh uh proper way to uh, to uh, to write uh, down the complaints okay so this is the first thing you have to ask from when was the first complaint started this is the first second thing is that in the thing you have to ask that is it severe or mild or moderate she will take moderate okay so you you do you, you pass the complaints you know that this is from one month okay first complaint started from one month moderate pain is there moderate to severe pain is there and you have to ask other comorbidities other issues like diabetic hypertension thyroid these are the things you have to ask so yeah for that you have to correlate to the patient temperament what you studied okay this patient have thyroid issues 
So mostly he, she or she belongs to the lymphatic temperament. Now we have to check the temperament. You ask the questions and now you have to check. This is the in the beginning. Beginning, you have to do that. In the beginning, you have to do like that. Okay. So you have to take um, five minutes for asking the complaints and two to three minutes or four minutes, initially five minutes, seven minutes to take the temperament. First, tell the patient you have to walk. You check the walk. First. Next, you have to check the face. You have to check the uh, eyes. You have to ask the general questions to the patient. What type of food you like to eat and uh, what about your angry issues? How you talk? These are the questions, simple questions you have to ask the patient. Okay. So, from that, you will able to understand the temperament of the patient. Okay. Uh, one image I will... I want to see you. I want to send you. Okay. One second, please. Yes, sir. So basically, here you are able to see the temperament. How much temperament, how much percentage temperament you can able to understand. But walking alone, walking, you can able to understand this person temperament can be noticed 60%. But facial expression 10 to 15%. Eyes and hair being able to understand 10 to 15%. Eating habits 10 to 15%. Normal characters 10 to 5%. But only walking you will be able to understand 60% of temperament. Okay. This is very important. So that's the reason you have to check the walking style. Face, eyes, hair, eating habits, normal characters. These five things I have to understand. So you have to make one column, walking. Okay. Notice the uh, walking style, face. Observe his face, eyes and hair. See the hairs and eyes. Ask the eating habits, normal characters. All these things are very, very important. Okay. So basically, what is the... This is the second step. First step is you have to ask the questions. Okay. Second is you have to check the temperament. Okay. Next, you will get the conclusion that this person belongs 90% sanguine or lymphatic. Okay. Sanguine or lymphatic. Okay. Correlate with that complaints. What complaints he told? He started first hypothyroid issues. Okay, three years back, gradually he started before one month. Okay, you know, when he came to cleaning, before one month he started neck pain, or shoulder hand, uh, radiated pains, gradually the numbness, stiffness, unable to lift the hand, uh, unable to lift the pen is gradually started. So you can understand, correlate with that. His main problem is started due to the thyroid issues. Okay, so basically it belongs to lymphatic temperament. So I have to treat this problem also, this problem also. Okay, now come to the pulse diagnosis. Correlate this with pulse diagnosis. Are you, are you correct or not? So then you are keeping your pulse and checking with sanguine lymphatic and you check the lymphatic. His second meniscus have... Okay, the issues I am uh, I'm seeing is his uh, pulse is higher here. So again, you are giving the pressures and releasing the pressure gradually. You will get the point that yes, this person have issue in thyroid. So that is the reason he getting the pain. Okay, so we have to treat two issues here. One is this is neck pain. Is this acute issue or a subacute issue, chronic issue. Neck pain. Is this acute issue or chronic issue or subacute issue? What the patient came to my clinic? Can anyone tell? Yeah. 
एक्यूट कंडीशन सो बेसिकली इट इज मोर देन फिफ्टीन डेज सो बेसिकली सब एक्यूट इश्यू ओके बट it is subacute issue but in subacute issue it is acute issue means that the pain is from past 20 20 days but 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 in uh, in the during this timing sometimes the pain raise sometime will pain reduce gradually the pain will increase severely moderate to severe sometime mild pain is there so mild pain is related to subacute but moderate to severe pain is acute condition in subacute condition the acute condition is involved so basically we have to treat according to acute condition moderate to severe is acute condition okay so basically this is the sub in subacute acute condition so here the disease nature of the disease is understand but in thyroid what is the thyroid here hypothyroid condition is it acute subacute or chronic it is chronic thyroid issue is chronic. chronic issue yes very good so chronic issue so here one issue is acute and another one is is sub chronic so you have to treat both so basically here the temperamental remedy what is the temperamental remedy here and what is the do dilution here and what is the dose here so we have to treat the reason we have to treat the symptoms what occurred due to the this original issues so what is the temperament the temperament is lymphatic Lymphatic. Dilution is now we are treating acute condition, so we have to select D six. Now the dosage is is it lighter dose or stronger dose? Lighter means dissolving in water, stronger means direct or direct on the tongue or with taking with one teaspoon water, not more than one teaspoon. Okay, dilution dosage is. so here pain is more the patient to have to check the uh, vitals pulse rate bp temperature respiratory rate so everything is in normal it may be high or it may be low if they are high what you have to give you have to give lighter dose not stronger dose but if they are in low you have to give high high uh, stronger dose Stronger dose. Some person tell you that, sir, uh, due to the neck pain, I have vertigo. My BP is going to be low down. Okay, most of the patient complain this. So it means you need to give stronger dose direct on the tongue. So most of the ninety percent cases in neck pain, whoever have So basically, what uh, where we are? So, so basically, the pain, uh, due to the neck pain, most of the people suffer, they with vertigo. Okay, and with uh, low BP, low BP, and with uh, giddiness, vertigo, giddiness, all. Okay, and sweating. Unable to do any work, so this means that they are going in hypoactivity, hypo function. So we need to give stronger dose. Okay, so this decide which type of dose you have to give stronger dose. Okay, let's make the protocol. So basically, is Lymphatic temperament, so he need S one. This is his temperamental remedy. 
okay second one is thyroid issues are there so what we are treating thyroid and as well as neck pain so basically which is the glandular remedy s2 s2 very good so s2 is glandular remedy which makes the gland gland secretes lymph so we need lymphatic remedy along with glandular remedy who are adding s2 l1 so basically here there is a uh, hypothyroidism so hypothyroidism we have to improve the function of the gland also so not only uh, to uh, to functional remedy along with functional remedy we are giving electricity so here two options you have to add internally or externally you have to give okay so it's our choice so basically i advise both okay we are giving s2 l1 RE. so this is the functional remedy next we have to give this is the curing remedy now healing remedy so s2 taken so you have to take c2 so basically whenever we are adding c group along with c group mostly we have to add a when one i already told you that so and here re is taken with s2 we have to take ye along with c2 c group okay so opposite list so it made proper balance it will not raise it will not go beyond so basically thyroid is what is thyroid thyroid is chronic issue so there's the reason we are taking here d4 d4 okay now the problem symptomatic issues also is there so now we have to treat her neck pain also so basically what is neck how neck is made up of it have bones it have cartilage it have nerves so basically it started with bone neck pain next gradually increase in cartilage next gradually unable to lift the hand it means no involvement happened so we have to treat all this condition along with original conditions so bones for bones we have to nourish the bones so we need bone remedy that is c4 so basically initially there is inflammation in the bones because of the uh, because of the uh, movement of the neck okay you have to move the neck you have to uh, raise the hand so what you feel you feel inflammation in the neck so i told you that along with c4 we have to add when one so here we have to add for inflammation be c4 when one be or g okay this is again this is the curing uh, sorry healing remedy okay so this is for bones cartilage everything is that but you are the pain pain for pain you have to give symptomatic treatment so a number of remedies to treat pain but initially we will give like a f1 we or f1 a3 ye okay in d6 or another is f1 a3 c5 re this is also good ready for pain d6 and s5 re and s1 re so all these are good remedies for pain from that we have to select one remedy i will select this one because it will give good results f1 a3 c5 re in d6 so what is the fifth remedy f1 a3 c5 re so basically s1 is for temperament we are it already s2 l1 re c2 n1 y this is for uh, thyroid issues and c4 n1 b or g for bones cartilage and for pain 
this one. So basically, <clears throat> this remedy, which is now acute condition because of the neck pain, so it will, or one thing, every remedy you can give in D6. If for initially 10 to 15 days to calm down the effect, or which remedy is main due to the issues, you can give it in uh, that condition, chronic condition, and now condition is acute. So there's a reason you have to advise this remedy for issue of the problem. Whatever issue is there, so to solve that issue, you can advise this remedy. So we complete it with that. We make the protocol with five remedies. Initial one is lymphatic remedy, and two, three is for chronic issues, four, five for now. This is subacute and this is acute issue. So, likewise, you have to give for that patient. So, gradually the pain will reduce automatically, the bone, the cartilage will repair, and whatever the old issue is there, thyroid issue, it will be gradually improved. Okay, this is the one method. Second method is all the uh, all the remedies you can give in only one dilution that is D6. Now, because now every is one, every problem is in acute. So that is the reason you selected D6. The second, you can select in D5 also because the problem is gradually increased, not suddenly increased. So it means that the sub it is in subacute nature. So three is three can be given according to your condition. But mostly I prefer this is first method is good because it covers all these things. Okay, So I hope you understood how to make the protocol in easy way. So gradually uh, you will understood. Likewise, you have to make the protocols. For basically, we have some protocols in the books also. You can try that. Gradually, you have to make that according to the condition of the patient. Okay, So any questions, kindly ask.